Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Xavier, aka the Film Zay, and welcome back to the channel. Now, for today's video, we're gonna be going over the film Judas and the Black Messiah. This film has been highly anticipated for me, I've waited for it for months ever since I saw the first trailer. Um, Daniel Kaluuya, Lakeith Stanfield, uh, Dominique Fishback, my boy Jesse Plemons. This was a great film, fantastic film, um, and definitely a big awards contender for this year's Oscars. So let's dive right into the review. Now, Judas and the Black Messiah follows the story of the FBI assassination, um, or the steps that led to it, um, of the Black Panther chairman, Fred Hampton. Um, so basically we have Lakeith Stanfield, who is our lead, playing William O'Neill, but he's known as Bill O'Neill in this film. And he's basically having the FBI, I'm um, giving the FBI information, um, dealing with Fred Hampton, about where he stays, the people around him, legit everything you could think of that that he knows about uh, Fred Hampton, the FBI knows as well. And it's just a fantastic film to watch, uh, mainly to do to the fact of one thing, one thing only, the performance of Dale Kaluuya as Fred Hampton. Now, this, after I watched um, the film, this for me solidifies that he's winning the Oscar. It's not even close. <laughs> and it is well deserved, in my, well deserved Oscar win, in my opinion. Um, Dan Kaluuya just puts on a show. I wanted actually more of him, but I understand why we didn't get more of him. Um, he just, every scene that he has, he's a powerhouse in. And I just loved Dan Kaluuya in this film. Now, it's weird how we just saw him in Get Out, and he's kind of chill a little bit in, the, in Get Out, but then he just takes it to another level. And Judas and the Black Messiah, it's crazy. We also have Lakeith Sandfield, who's also great in this film. Um, he does have some emotional moments in here, but even though he's the lead in this film, I think Dan Khalid still outshines Lakeith. Don't get me wrong, Lakeith did a great performance as well. He's great in the film. But yeah, Dan Khalid is just incredible in this film. And also we have Dominique Fishback, who is awesome in this film as well. Um... She's great. She has all the um, the soft emotional moments. She has a moment towards the end where um, it's just crazy to think about. It's just a shot of her, but I'm not trying to spoil it for you guys. It's going to be spoiler free, but um, when that happens towards the end uh, of the film, and you just see Dominic Fishback's face um, when it happens, and you're just like, whoa, that was deep. that was really deep. And yeah, she does have all the the soft, the most moments with um, Fred, and also a little bit with the party as a whole. We also have um, Jesse Plemons, who plays this um, FBI agent. Um, basically, um, he's the one that's in charge of the um, the Fred Hampton case. So he's working with Bill or William O'Neill with Lakeith Stanfield's character, and yeah, he's great as well. And really, no complaints at all. He doesn't get too much screen time, but when he's on the screen. He fits the role of the FBI agent pretty good, in my opinion. Now, this film is by Shaka King. Now, this, now, this is my first time really hearing Shaka King whatsoever. I'm not really familiar with his like, films or whatnot, what he's done in the past. But Judas is definitely going to be a new gateway as far as, like, you know, um, what comes next to him. Um, I'm also going to check out some of his more films, his, um, past films, to see if he has, like, kind of, like, a theme, like, some kind of feel or whatever. But, yeah, Judas is like Messiah was definitely a fantastic film for him to direct. Now, as far as award to go for Judas, what can he get? Well, obviously, it's against supporting actor. I think it's going to be sweeping throughout the whole entire race, in my opinion. Um, Derek Lee is just incredible. Um, I could also see again nominated for Best Picture, obviously, or hopefully. Um, we also could have a chance to get Dominique Fishback, maybe, in supporting actors. We don't know yet. This is a very um, stacked category. We also um, have a chance to um, nominate for original screenplay, uh, which I hope it gets. Um, and maybe, I don't know if you're kind of to score. I don't know about score, maybe not score. Maybe if we can um, get C. Judas and the Black Messiah getting the cinematography nomination, that'll be cruel as well. But yeah, I can definitely see this getting into the Best Picture nominations. Uh, sliding into number like five or six or seven spot. Just slide it right in there. And yeah, Julius and the Black Messiah is getting A from me personally. An eight 
point eight out of ten. Great film. Before we go, um, last time and last video, I told you guys about the new schedule that's going to be happening, but that kind of changed because Judas came into the way. So, heads up for you guys. One, um, I'm seeing Minari tomorrow, hopefully afternoon. So I wanted to hold off to the Oscar predictions. I wanted to see Minari and Judas before I actually like did them. Cause Minari, both of them are both really big hit, heavy hitters, um, and it's award season. And also number two, you guys are still getting the films they rewrites, and for the first film we're doing Captain Marvel. So stay tuned for that. And also we have that that theater post with me or the fantasy Jeffrey. Um, we have a little musical theater showdown challenge. You guys will be also getting some more theater content in these next two weeks. Um, also getting some more film content, of course, in the next two weeks. Uh, more reviews. Um, also going to do some more um, reactions. Different trailers that are coming out very soon. And and yeah, that, that's it for me. I will see you all next time. Have a great one. Mm -hmm.